Hello, everyone, and welcome to Paula's Soapbox Live. So very soon, we will be saying goodbye to one of my favorite web series, Classic Alice. And I wanted to give the show the proper send-off. So I thought, what better way to do that than to have Alice herself back on the show? So please welcome creator and star of Classic Alice, actress Kate Hackett. Hi. Hi, thank you so much for coming back. We had so much fun when you were here the last time. So oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. I was actually talking to somebody recently. It's been this this time for whatever reason, I just didn't do a lot of interviews. And so now with the end of the show, I've been like, oh maybe I should do one. Yeah. Two. <laughs> and I have completely forgotten all of the like there are some questions that just get asked over and over. So I just yeah. sort of like have a response ready to go. Yeah gone i have no idea so you, you're gonna ask yeah, me it's a blank slate well I, when i was making questions out i was thinking now did i ask her that the last time so i was having to like try to remember what i asked you the last time so that i didn't ask you the same thing again so it's, hopefully we'll run into that. Is, like being asked the same thing the problem is me like not remembering the answer <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, i don't remember uh i know i know this yeah. <laughs> that <was> eloquent. <laughs> what was I going to say about that? What was I needing to say about that? Well, we talked about this just a few minutes ago before we went live, but you just recently, well, not recently, but you joined Social Medium yeah. since the last time we talked, which is, it's a fun series. So yeah, it's very, uh, very different from, like, it's not a literary sh show at all. It's an original show so that's very different and it's very quirky and kind of like Buffy meets Doctor Who me I don't know I can't even like pinpoint it um but it's definitely very different and I play Zola who is the best friend who the best friend role is the best role yeah because everyone loves you the main character people are like oh well she does this and she's flawed this way and like we don't like this about her but the best friend is just the voice of reason so everybody loves her right <laughs> so, so getting to do that getting to be the like kara has been really really fun because yeah the comments are just universally like zola is the best she's so cool and yeah like, and less pressure i'm sure because uh, you're like, like, well there's less like dialogue to learn and I, I mean I'm not running the show so it's not my sets but there's still a lot of like where am I supposed to be right now what is happening uh, yeah. yeah no it's, it's a welcome break from the showrunner hat um but it was also like a really nice different role I've been playing Alice for like two years now so being able to play someone who's not sweet is yeah. fun yeah yeah, you're you're helping. Um, her name is her character name escapes me because we were just talking about her in oh, real life think. a minute ago. Yes, uh, you're helping her uh, with ghost mysteries. Yes, um, and I, I originally Zola didn't really like believe in it, but uh, she saw something in one of the prequel episodes, and so she came around. And uh, we're kind of running like a business hunting ghosts and right. Zola's the only one out of the three of them going hey guys if we're gonna run a business there's some yeah. shit we gotta do yeah, yeah so, you're handing all these fall folders to Beatrix and you know yeah. trying to get her yeah. back in the game so yeah it's a fun show I hope people check that one out too because it's, it's, it's a cute little show for sure yeah, yeah yeah it is um so how did you get involved with that one uh Tara Texted me, email. I don't remember. She's she was friends with uh, JBI first, so mm -hmm. he he and I knew each other because of Emma, and then he did our show. Blah blah blah. Um, he plays Marcus, and so he put us in contact because she needed just like advice, and we had sushi, and there was a part that she was like, "I don't, we kind of need to cast this," and I was like, "Hi," <laughs> and that yeah. was kind of it. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of crossover with the web series community, which I love. It's a tiny little world. It's very right. small. I mean, it's a microcosm of Hollywood, which is already very small. So right. uh, you get a lot of the same people popping up over and over again, unless they, like, move on to bigger, better things or, um, or I don't know, I guess they're horrible to work with. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, Which but no. happens sometimes, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sorry? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that happens sometimes, so I'm anyway. Sure it does. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, you'll see the same people just over and over and over again. Like, um, I don't know if you guys saw Brendan Bradley. Do you know he was in Frankenstein? No, uh, I'm not familiar with him. Brendan is actually a friend of mine. He was in one of my shorts that I did before Classic Alice. He was in mm -hmm. this scene where he breaks up with me and I deliver a concession speech instead mm -hmm. of just a like, no, I get it. Yeah. Um, so he was in that sketch with me and then... So he just released the trailer for a movie that he shot with, like, everybody. It's got Ashley Clements and Julia Chow and David Vincent Gorth and, like, just everyone. Wow. Yeah. So, like, everybody kind of builds together. Um, yeah. It, it's a small community. And when one person gets an opportunity, ideally, everybody kind of rises with the tide. So Yeah. Well, I love that. I think that's great. I mean, yeah. yeah, everyone's kind of sticking together and helping each other. So yeah, yeah, it's nice. So the last time we talked, uh, we talked a little bit, not much about a uh, real Rob, uh, <laughs> because it was still kind of in the works. Yeah, just a little bit. Well, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's on Netflix now, right? Yes. So my, I told my brother this. And this has become my, my favorite joke about this particular thing. I told my brother, like, hey, a show that I'm in is on Netflix. And he was like, wait, so if I'm Netflix and chilling, I could see your face. And I was like, well, don't <laughs> Netflix and chill with that show. But yes, right. um, it's, it's on Netflix. I'm in episode seven. Um, okay. So I think that's what's my thing is the title of the episode. And I'm in it for a quick little moment, and then I'm gone, but I'm in it. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, it, it was cool. It was a fun experience, and Rob Schneider called me. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. And was like, hey, you're amazing. And I was like, what? <laughs> right. Um, I mean, how cool is that? It was It was definitely <laughs> surreal. My boyfriend and I, uh, and I were in the car. I don't, where, I don't know where we were going. Uh and I got a call from a number that said unknown. It was like a blocked number. And I usually don't pick up if I don't know the number or whatever. But I was like, meh. And I picked up and I got this like, hi, this is Rob Schneider. And I was like, oh, what? right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That is so cool. And it's it such a good cool. thing that you picked up the phone. I know. <laughs> the thing to, to have happen, I, actually, as an actor, you always hope that things happen to you, like, good things happen yeah. around, like, October, November, December, because then you can go home for Christmas and be like, well, guys. Yeah, I'm this is what's going on with me. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. you're not like, oh, shit, the only thing I did this year was in January. They already know. Right. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> totally, totally get that. Yeah, you, you, wanna, you want something really good and productive to happen right before the holiday so that you'll have something to tell. Okay. What have you been up to? Well, <laughs> nothing. Yeah, not much in the last couple of months. So, <laughs> totally get that. So, for Classic Alice, when does it officially end? It's going to end in January. January. Um, that's it. Next I don't week. know. I don't know how much, like, I'm not clear on how pervasive this story has been like I don't know if fans know that it's like Dunzo or if they're like no it'll come back because every now and then someone says something about crowdfunding and I have a small heart attack uh so no it's over we shot everything it comes to a very natural conclusion yeah um I cannot imagine coming back yeah I don't know why it would <laughs> but what uh what why is it ending now because I hate everyone I've ever worked with. So I, um, it's I think because everybody's ready to move on, I think. Everybody's kind of, you know, these characters, this story, first, the story's done. Right. Um, and I, I, I can't really explain why um, without giving away the plot. So the story will be finished uh, when it wraps up. So that's the most important thing. But the, the rest of it is, like, getting your actors back every season gets harder and harder. Um, you know, at this point, sorry, my cat's making a weird noise. At this point, like, we've been, I've been doing this for two years. Um, 
like nonstop. And everybody else has been doing it for a year and a half. So it's sort of like, all right, it's time to move on. Um, the only the only reason I could ever foresee maybe doing a little bit more is if this app kind of goes gangbusters and people are like really excited because it has the ability, like if I'm, I was saying this earlier too, like I really yeah. wish we had the app at the beginning, but um, when we update, it sends you an alert and you get to just immediately like download whatever content you're getting and there it is uh, instead of YouTube where you're like, what day is it? Oh, right, that show that I watch yeah. sometimes is, it's just easier. Um, it, it might be fun to play with that feature, but it, like I said, it's hard to get your cast, your crew, your, I mean, it just gets so expensive uh, asking people to do more stuff when they think they're done with these characters. And, I, and I've been kind of like done with these, well, not not totally, just recently kind of like starting to shut them down. Yeah. Um, and it's like, Oh, and I don't know that I want to open that again and like do more and then be like, right now, now I'm done. So yeah. I don't know. I, I, it's done, but the app should make it kind of live on a little bit. Yeah. Sorry, I'm playing with it. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> a bobby pin. <laughs> like a crazy <laughs> person. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about the app since you brought it up. Um, what exactly is going into the app? Well, I can show you guys. Oh, awesome. While I pull this up, you should tweet about it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's, it's, gonna do. <laughs> it's showing off the app so that you can kind of see it. So this is our load screen. You can't see anything. Oh my God. No, I can't see anything. All right. Well, the lot is like hitting it weird. So everything's blurred out. We're Kind of looking at the app right now, kind of not. This was such a good idea in theory. What if I yeah. Try? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. It's not going to work? No. All right. Well, I mean, you can kind of get it. It's, this is books. And if I press it, oh, yeah. okay. this throws up. Uh, it's going to be different color. Well, it doesn't matter. You don't see the colors. Right. Uh, there's a picture of me and Tony in the back. I'll just narrate the app for you. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, Classic Alice is about books, so it's very appropriate that you're narrating now. So. Um, so you pull it up, and then this is a timeline, and I think I'm going to have it going. That's not working. Uh, I think I'm going to have it going that way, but I don't know. Um, it depends on what the dudes tell me is a better idea. Uh, but you can just scroll through it. Oh, yeah, okay. Right? And so yeah. that's Crime and Punishment. So those are all the, the major features, the chapters of Crime and Punishment. Yeah. So we can click on one. I don't know if this one. Let's see. If I click on one, it sends me in here and says the video could not be loaded. That's not good. There's a video. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I can come down here and navigate that way, or I can go to Special Features. And this is supposed to go all the way up. This is a little, it's a little buggy. Yeah. Uh, right now, it, because it's not out yet. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's in beta. <laughs> yeah, it's super beta. But there's another, you can't see it at all. There's another timeline down here with special features, and I can click on the special features, and it comes up, and then there's a video that you can watch. So it's, oh, okay. and so forth. Um, and then there's, gosh, so it's everything we've ever put on the internet, like everything. Wow. Uh, not just the big things. So not just podcasts and uh, the videos and whatever, but like the Tumblr posts that you've probably forgotten about. And yeah. the, yeah, I mean, stuff like that, like stuff that happened before the show even started. Um, all of the pictures that we took and never released because I'm but one person and I forgot right. about it. So right. and sometimes you have to sleep. So, <laughs> um, so all of the pictures that we've ever taken, I just finished, well, just <laughs> finished editing. Um, sorry, my computer was like, you have tweets. And I was like, no, shut up. <laughs> I just finished editing a huge BTS feature thing. It's like 12 minutes long. It's really long. Um, with all of the BTS footage that we shot and never did anything with from both seasons. 
Um, so all of that stuff plus I don't know, uh, the the book that Alice wrote, all the diary entries will be in there. Wow. Um, so if you are following those diary entries and you're like, man, I picked Alice, but she's the worst. I wish I had picked Lily. You'll have that. Yeah. Um, so you can see how they play with each other and blah, blah, blah. Um, what else? Uh, bloopers for books eight plus. I'm sh I don't know if people have noticed. I noticed we haven't done that. Um, yeah, so those no. will be on the app, and that will be exclusive to the app. I'm not putting them on YouTube right now. I don't know. I can always change my mind, but probably yeah. not. Um, there's just going to be a lot of bonus stuff that will live in there in that bundle, and it's also all in order, so you don't have to like hunt it down. Yeah, you're you're not, and it play it auto plays for you, so it just goes to the next chapter. So if you're like, I want to start in Pygmalion, you start in Pygmalion. It'll go from the first thing there to the video, and then it'll pull in Kara's podcast for that week. So it's um, it's almost like you're living it live. The only thing that you can't do that people who watch the show live can do is um. Stop it, Twitter. The only thing that you <laughs> just, it's like, oh, shit, no, I can't answer it. Um, the only thing that you can <laughs> do on the app that you could do if you watched it live is tweet to the characters and talk to them that way. Um, but, but, oh, I forgot. Oh, man, I always forget this feature. But you can still talk to people in the comments. There are comments, and so you can have a dialogue in those sections within the chapters. So you can talk about whatever. You can, like, you know, oh, this video was terrible, or oh, this video was wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, and you can interact down there. And I don't know, maybe a character or two will pop up because the show's yeah. over. I have nothing to do. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, I can't. I know this probably sounds like I'm talking it up because I want you to buy it. Yeah. And I do, but <laughs> it is like so cool. It is the coolest thing and so perfect for what we did with the show and how, you know, we used different forms of media to tell more than just one little story. Yeah. Uh, oh, the spinoff is on there too. Like all the big things and all the little things, things that you don't even realize that we have. Um, so yeah, I, I I really love it. Jay and David Nett. I don't. David Nett was actually in our show. He was the weird coat guy. So, oh okay, yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> they and another another guy named Barrett developed it, and they've just done like such an amazingly wonderful job. And um, it's been a very big process, and it's still ongoing. But I mm -hmm. really hope people at least at least check out the Crime and Punishment. Uh, stuff and I hope my hope is that this is out before Christmas and my second hope is that I can give like a surprise Christmas present kind of thing for people who have downloaded the crime and punishment arc that and you know that'll be free too so you can see what we can do with that app and yeah. you can test it out and play with it and be like oh this is for me or this is the worst yeah I think it's going to be really cool, um, you know, and you've got everything is just kind of in one place, which yeah. makes it so convenient, and I think that you're going to get even more fans after this is out, because they're going to be able to, you know, like you said, listen to the podcast and yeah. watch the episodes and do all this other stuff, and it's right there in front of them. So. I, I hope it makes the viewing experience easier for yeah. people who want the whole story, but maybe didn't find the show until too late. Yeah. Um, so I hope that those people kind of like pop back in and mm -hmm. I hope that people who maybe didn't know about it can, can watch it that way so that they get the whole thing. Cause I know that the appeal of these multimedia shows is that there's so much of it and you can yeah. immerse yourself in so many different ways, but you can also choose not to. So with the app, you can also just watch the videos. Like there's a way for us to make a timeline that is just the videos. And so only things that are tagged main videos will show up and you can enjoy it that way if that's your thing. Or you can enjoy the whole thing. Or you can just watch Kara's episodes. Or you can just watch <laughs> or whatever. Like there's, it's very flexible and we can make ways to make your viewing 
experience what you want it to be. Yeah. Well, well, I know that you you were kind of disappointed that you didn't get to do the app at the front end of the series, but yeah. I think this will be a good creative, <coughs> convenient way to kind of extend the life of the series. So it, it's probably a good thing that you waited till the end of the series to do That's it. That's a problem that Jay, when Jay was, <laughs> I don't know why they were pitching this to me. They should have just been like, do you want to do this? And I would have been like, yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Jay was trying to sell it, and I was like, no, I'm already on board, dude. But uh, yeah, you know. the legacy of these web series is very difficult. Nobody really has a great way to do it. Um, Lizzie Bennett lives online, sure, mm -hmm. but I, I think it's impossible. I mean, I, I tried because when I was you know, researching how they did it, I tried to go through the website, and it was just hard. It's a mm -hmm. lot. Yeah. And that's not a knock on their team at all because that's what ours looked like. It's just and looks like the so. nature of the internet, you know. It's just right. It's so spread out. It's really hard to like accommodate this kind of storytelling. And this is new, so there needs to be a new way to do it. And yeah. I am thrilled that I get to do it this way. So yeah. Well, I'm excited for it. So will the app itself be free? So it's a free download. You can download okay. the app. The first book and the prequel, so technically two books in, in our account, is mm -hmm. those two are free. So you can test it out. You can play with it. You can see if it works for you or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, then Pygmalion on, those will be paid per book. So each book has a different price. Uh, longer books have bigger price tags. Yeah. Nothing is over $10. I think nothing's over $9. Um, and the shorter, the shorter books obviously have, are, are obviously cost less, less because there are fewer videos. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it shouldn't be, I mean, it's, you're buying a DVD box set plus stuff. So yeah. even though I know there's, there's like, but it's, I can't hold it. And I get that. Uh, and I talked a lot about that with Jay and uh, David, but you're getting so much and more. So yeah. hopefully that is an appealing. Yeah. Aspect. And it's in one convenient little app. So. Yeah. And the other question that, that was asked a lot when I was like, is this something you guys would really be interested in? Was um, what happens like when you buy a box set, when you buy a DVD, that thing lives on your shelf forever. That's right. yours. Yeah. So what happens if for some reason the app goes away? And I I was like, that's fair. That's a, that's a question. Yeah. Uh, so the, <coughs> sorry, okay. the plan is if that happens, um, Jay and uh, David and I would set up a system to get digital copies to everybody who's already bought it. So you can then take it and watch it on your own. And the reason for that is the reason you don't, can't just download it on the app as is, is because the nature of how apps work, like putting, I don't even know how many videos do we have? A hundred and something. Hundred something yeah. Hundred over a hundred. It's episodes. like 130 something. I think maybe that's crazy. It's we a need lot. To um, <laughs> putting that many episodes, we can't do it. There's not enough space. Mm -hmm. So your, your iPad would be like, sorry, dude. Um, it, I have these things on three, no, I'm sorry, five terabyte hard drives. It's too big. It, they're just too big. There's too much. So mm -hmm. we can't let you, you know, download it and, and have it forever. But there are no ads, um, on the app. There are no ads. Once you pay it, it's it. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that mitigates it. And I, hopefully people understand, like, that's just, we can't do that. That's not how apps work. It's not practical. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want to download five terabytes of anything. You'd be like, screw you, Kate Hackett. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's up everyone's memory, so. And the entire internet would be like, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I'm done with that. <laughs> um, so do you plan to keep, episodes up on YouTube, even though you're going to have this app or That's a great question. My candid answer. God, it's like, I'm drunk. I'm just telling you everything. <laughs> <honestly> is <possible. laughs> My great candid answer is, I don't know. Um, yeah. maybe. but YouTube has done some different things this year and it hasn't been that beneficial. Um, 
the benefit of living on YouTube is having all of those views. That's great. Yeah. So that our actors and crew and whatever can be like, hey, I'm on a show that has over a million and a quarter views. And right. that does get you endorsed. So I wouldn't want to take that away from them or me. Yeah. And plus um, you can share it and, and kind of help spread the <laughs> word too. So. Right. So I, I don't know. Um, they might live on there. It might not. I see no reason at the moment to take it down. Um, yeah. Or to make it private, we wouldn't take it down. That's oh god. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I don't know. Yeah, so we'll we'll see about that then later on, I guess. Yeah, I, and, I think it kind of depends on on if if it's worth keeping it up. Um, yeah. I, I don't think I'm gonna need to take it down. I don't see a reason to. Mm -hmm. um, because it is nice to be able to, like, if our fans maybe donated to the Indiegogo, well, no, they'll get digital copies. I don't know. Um, but, like, if, if somebody's like, oh, no, I can't afford to to buy this app. It's not fair. I don't want to be like, sorry. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. You're, you know, you're screwed. So. <laughs> now, never know. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. So, Classic Alice has started a wardrobe auction oh, on yeah. eBay. So tell me about that. So we started and then finished it. <laughs> so it's done. Okay. It's done now. But, okay. But, tell but, me but, that one. <laughs> I, think, I think I may pop some more things on there. Um, it was an in-world uh, auction. So Kara, Lily, Alice, and inexplicably Sam yeah. <laughs> had outfits up. <laughs> I had too much crap in my house. Uh, yeah. I needed to get rid of this. <laughs> So we put those up, and uh, they were shipped on Monday. So if you bought one, you should have it soon. Yeah, before um, Christmas. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, unless it gets stuck in customs somewhere. But yeah. that's not my fault. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah so we, we did that, and we raised, actually, we raised about 100 and change for for charity, which is nice. Like, it's yeah. a nice little give back thing. So yeah. I was happy about that. Um, there are also there's also been quiet whisperings of interest uh, in some props from set, so yeah, like posters and stuff like that. So I need to see what is still around and how obnoxious those would be to ship. And if it's not too bad, then I'll put those up too. But I don't know when I'm going to do that. Yeah, that would be a really good idea. I'm sure that you know the diehard <laughs> fans would really love. Yeah, I mean they're so thing. detailed too. Like I have one. Hang on. mm -hmm. Oh no, he moved it. Ugh. My boyfriend <laughs> moved it and everything is in a different spot. I have no idea where anything is anymore. Um, well, we are, I mean, they're so detailed. Like, the stuff, the game that that Kim made for the second season, second season? I don't know. Um, yep. <laughs> what do I call? Uh, had, like, all of these little, this is something that you can find in the app. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it had all these, like, it was all labeled, and like, it was, like, crazy detailed. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, so, I, also in the app will be close-up photographs of all these things, so you can see all the little details. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they're really cool. They're, like, very thought out and, like, little jokes throughout them, so. Yeah. Well, that's really I don't cool. need them. Take okay, them. So. Get them out of my house. So the, the series ends in January, and Persuasion is your last book. Yeah, which... there was apparently a rumor that there were two more books, and I was like, hmm, I don't recall this. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is it. This is the last book. I think I think that's a, an appropriate one to wrap up with. So it is. It, it's, it's, <laughs> been a, it's been a while since I read it, but once I started watching the episodes, it came back to me what, the, what it was about. So, yeah, I think this will be a good one. Yeah, it fits really well. And yeah. I fought doing a Jane Austen book. Yeah. And I lost. So. Yeah. It, it is a nice one to end it on. It's a nice one for kind of the like, it's a literary web series that was absolutely like a nod to or inspired by or just copied Lizzie Bennet. Like we were in the same world. Uh, so, yeah. you know, having that little like, thanks guys. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Well, I don't think that you can have too many web series about books because I think it gets people interested in reading these classics that maybe they never got around <laughs> to reading before. So, 
I don't, yeah. I don't think there's room for a lot of those. Yeah. So. I mean, there are a lot of them. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. So, yeah, when you start looking, when you start looking at classic Alice episodes, all these other ones come down. Oh, really? On YouTube, like, Emma approved and some of the other ones is like, okay, you, if you like this, you might also like this. And, you know, yeah, so you can discover all kinds oh, yeah, of a terrible wormhole. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so Alice, throughout the series, she's been on this sort of journey of self-discovery. Mm -hmm. So did you discover anything new about yourself taking this journey with her? No, I'm perfect. Oh. No. Um, <laughs> did I discover anything? I'm probably, I haven't, I don't, I feel like I don't have time to self-reflect. So these answers yeah. are going to be like, I'm sure I did. Um, yeah. I, <clears throat> what did I discover about myself doing this? I am a glutton for punishment. <laughs> I can write a shitload of words very quickly and right. memorize them also quickly. Oh, am I allowed to curse? Sorry. Yeah, that's... <laughs> um, I don't think I have any sensors here that will bleep you out, so it's fun. <laughs> Guess a lot, internet. <laughs> um, I, I can. I, I've learned that I kind of. I don't know. I, I'm sure I've learned things. I what? What are we looking for here? Give me like a hint, and I'll be like, no, yeah, that's the thing I learned. Oh, it just you know what? I mean, did you? I don't know. Did you discover something deeper about yourself? Like, I don't know. Did you discover that you have more patience than you thought you did? <laughs> <or>? <laughs> The opposite. Definitely not. The opposite. I that I am less patient <laughs> 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 with myself, with everyone else. Right. Like maybe Tony. Yeah. But with most people, I I'm sort of patient, but yeah. with me, I'm not. Yeah. Um, so you're I, a little like Alice. Yeah. No, I, I get hard on myself, like especially when it's stuff like I should be able to do this. Yeah. Um, I get frustrated. I have to. Yeah. yeah. I guess I get frustrated is a thing that. I knew that, though. That's not new. <laughs> yeah. Um, I discovered that relying on other people to take care of stuff is wonderful. Like, yeah. having producers on set who could be producers so that I could be an actor mm -hmm. was great. Yeah. And uh, very appreciated. And... Christina and Lex and Claire all did like such a phenomenal job making sure that I didn't have to be both. Yeah. So you're already putting such a, an enormous amount of work into the series anyway. So yeah. yeah it was more just like, if I don't have someone saying to me on set, like Kate, don't worry about it. Do your other job. <laughs> like yeah. we got it. Um, I will kind of, spin out just not spin out like not, not an insane person but like yeah. I try just, to take on too much I try to deal with all of it because there's always a problem like there's always yeah. something going wrong and <clears throat> so having people who are like we got this this is not a thing that needs your attention yeah is really important um so yeah well yeah it sounds a, a lot like me I tend to <laughs> try to take on too many things too many little things at one time and it's yeah not that you can't do it like I, I can do it I just it's not it's not gonna be like the show's not gonna be as good because I'm not concentrating on being an actor and right. that, you know the yeah. subtext of this line that I wrote I should know the subtext of the line but yeah you know, well whatever. your focus is split so yeah you right. need to be able to give like a hundred percent to your right and for a show like that where it's, it's such an interesting format. Like, talking directly to camera, there is no room for you, the actor, to mess up. There's just none. Uh, because we can't cut away. Like, there's no coverage. So, uh, in editing, what will happen is, if you've got two people, you've got at least three different ways that this was shot. It was shot, um, like, far-ish away so that you get uh, a wide shot. Mm -hmm. Then you move in and you can do over the shoulder or you can do close-ups if it's film or just like a two shot, but you've at least got like three, maybe four or five different angles that you shot this. Mm -hmm. So if you have someone talking and you're like, Oh, this is such a great take. And then someone messes up a line. You're like, no problem. We'll cut to this and then cut back and get around the line. Yeah. But 
when it's just me talking to camera or if it's just one take, like we don't move the camera, we can't do that. We can't cut away without it looking like a jump cut. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and for this show, weirdly, especially this season, there's a lot of stuff that you can't totally jump cut. There's no reason for them to have cut something out or if they did cut something out, it would be like, what did they just cut? Yeah. So, like, we, we, it was very hard on the actor because you had to get it, like, 110% right, and you always had to be in the moment. I came from a stage background, yeah. so always being on is totally fine, totally natural, but it's yeah. tiring. And you're there for 12 hours a day, and you're working. For me, I was on camera 12 hours a day. And yeah. Like, it's it's exhausting. Um, what was this tangent I just went on? Like, where? Did, what? What was my point? <laughs> where was I trying? Uh, to... <laughs> I don't <laughs> even remember the question actually. Oh no! What about yourself? So, yeah, I yeah, I can totally. Um, it's just it's very very taxing on the actor, but the benefit is there's no you can shoot so much because there's no setup and relighting and take it down, yeah. move it, and blah blah blah. Um, so it's just one, usually one setup mm -hmm. and just go. So it has its drawbacks and the drawbacks are mostly on the actor's shoulders, unfortunately. So okay. it takes a lot more. <clears throat> the other thing too is without a close up, you miss all of this. Like so much happens. Yeah. When you push in, you know, a lot, a lot is going on. And if you push in, you can see it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of, uh, film actors, especially, like, that's how we, everything's very small. Um, so sometimes you miss things. Like, there are some scenes. I have I have a wonderful Mac, like, iMac thing. So it's huge when I'm looking at it and editing. And I'm like, oh, this is amazing. Tony and I are brilliant. Yeah. And I sit here on YouTube later, and I'm like, what are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> So, I, I mean, you can miss performance, too, which sort of sucks. So, I think my next whatever, whatever I do is definitely going to be, like, a normal movie or show or whatever so that I can use the camera as art as well as, like, the actors and, and other stuff. Mm -hmm. The end. The <laughs> so, is nothing. You guys shot quite a bit outside this last season. Yeah. So, what was that like? noisy <laughs> it's really hard um we shot we actually only did one day outside but we shot everything that was outside on yeah. that one day so um or no i guess we had no it was one day uh so we did like the odyssey stuff and the blah 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 the park and or the camping camping yeah it was not a park no it was a real campsite <laughs> yeah uh so it was Actually, that day was one of our easier days. We didn't get shut down. We got out in time. Like, everybody was cool. It was fine. It was not a big deal. Yeah. Was we were all braced for that day to be like, where are your permits? You got to get out of here. But yeah. no, not one single person. Well, the, there was a lot of, like, background noise, but that's uncontrolled. Like, there's nothing anybody can do. Um right. But other than noise and having to hold for, like, for a little while, we had to hold for planes, trains, and a rooster. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but, but it was okay. I don't, I don't remember that day being particularly stressful. And everyone was like, it was fun to be outside. It wasn't hot. It wasn't cold. It was yeah. kind of, like, perfect. Um, there were some tricky camera moves that required me to actually know my lines. But that was fine. We did all right. Yeah. 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 Well, well, we it came across well, so. Excellent. <laughs> the the <laughs> where you see Tony behind me struggling. Th yeah. With the, that was the one that was, like, really tough because I'm I'm walking and talking. Um, I don't know what we wound up using, but we, we did takes where I was walking and talking and then revealing Tony. Um, yeah. So that was sometimes tricky because both I and the camera guy had to match speed and I tend to walk very fast. So <laughs> I had to like really slow down. But yeah. I got done. It was all good. Our, our harder days were, I think that the mansion, the house, like, yeah, 
communication for some reason was just difficult. Yeah, um, where was that? It was in, it was actually like 15 minutes away from me. So I was like, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> it was um, in the, there's this like pocket of north, northern Glendale, I guess. I don't know. It's just yeah. this mansion that they let people film. It's actually the same as the Muzzled, the musical, that mansion. Yeah. And when I was watching Muzzled, I was like, this is weird. Yeah. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it was the same place. So they 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 weren't thrilled. We had a big crew this time, and they were like, mm-hmm. no, no. So we had to talk them off of that ledge. And then usually when you're filming, they're not home. They're, they go somewhere else. And yeah. we were there the whole time, and that was really weird. <laughs> um, but, you know, it all got done. I think also, like, film people, movie people do this thing where they're like, everything is awful, oh, my God, and then it's done. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, everything's great. Because we, we have yeah. this, no memory for all of the terrible stuff that happened. So, like, it's done. <laughs> it got done. So it's fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, it, yeah, it turned out great. So, I mean... And you could tell, like, I was, when I was watching, I was like, are, are they at a real mansion? So, you know, it's, yeah, it turned out great. The the mansion was so tricky, though, because we needed, so because we had the office, mm-hmm. and then we had uh, the park, the outside stuff, we already had two company moves. And then we had, the third one was the company move to this house. So whatever the house was, we needed to take over that house for, I think it was six days. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, so we needed to take it over for an amount of time and not move again because moving is an extra day and we have to pay like Kim and camera guys for moving stuff, like blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. So we wanted to make sure that we weren't doing that. Um, so the house had to double and poor Kim, like Kim was actually our location scout in addition to our art department and our set department and like everything else, set designer. She did. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so we needed to find a place that would double as Northfield and mm-hmm. our homes because uh, Kara and Alice have a house where they live or a, an apartment where they live and Andrew yeah. has to live somewhere. So what wound up happening was this huge house we used for, we were like, this is great for Northfield. This works totally fine for Northfield, but it needs to double. And it didn't, it really didn't work the way uh, I had written the show. So I had to get rid of, uh, Andrew used to have a bedroom. He doesn't now. Now he has a bar. (laughs) Now he just goes to the bar. Yeah. (laughs) I got rid of his bedroom and changed it for this bar that was inexplicably in the house. It's in the, like, Harry Potter under the stairs place. Yeah. <laughs> and Kim, Kim yeah, fought me. Was- he was like, this is weird, Kate. And I was like, I don't care. It's funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, it's kind of appropriate, though, that he would be in a bar, though, considering what he's like, an alcoholic this season. It's always yeah. a bar because he has no home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... So there was, a, well, there was also a kitchen for a scene with Marcus that hasn't happened yet oh, that we had to change. So that's no longer in there. Um, my ha- my bedroom, Alice's bedroom, is also the living room. Like, it's just turned around. Yeah. Uh, so we, we made it work, but it was very tricky because there were also there were shots of the floor. So we had to make sure that the floor didn't look like Northfield's floor. And right, it t- yeah. <laughs> and then there were also... The uh, shot of us rolling up to Northfield uh, Mm -hmm. in the Odyssey is the same driveway as us uh, in the party, or outside of the party at the end of the Odyssey. I'm sorry, driving up in North and South, the beginning of North and South, Mm -hmm. and then the party at the end of the Odyssey. Those are both the same place. As is the weird little fountain that I sit on at the end of Dracula. All yeah. of that is the same courtyard. So if you look really carefully, I bet you can be like, wait a second. Um, <laughs> we had to cheat a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and look at some yeah. of those episodes and see if I can pick out some stuff. Because- so yeah, I mean, we we were so 
ooh, concern. Like we were really aware of it and really careful, but you know, who it might it, it can sneak in there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you you know if you you weren't telling me about it right now, I wouldn't right. have noticed it. Right. Now when I go back and if I you know, watch them again, then I'm probably gonna notice some if stuff. If you notice it. it yeah. No, I, I didn't. Just yeah. be like, you can't with this. It is so unrealistic. Yeah. <laughs> probably best I don't go back and look at it again because I'll, I'll go back and look and I'll start picking out stuff and then it'll just drive me crazy so well it's there <laughs> but we tried so, really hard I'm sorry what we tried really hard yeah well no I mean it came across fine um but you know if I go back and look at it then I'm sure that I'll be able to, to pick out some stuff oh, maybe I don't I know imagine um, so at the end of the series, which arc are you most pleased with or did you have the most fun with? Dracula. Dracula. <laughs> yeah, Dracula was it. definitely a departure for Alice. I loved it. Yeah. Uh, it was fun to play. It was really layered because it is so it is such a like um and people do but people do that. You know, you have a breakup yeah. and sometimes you just go the opposite of really who you are. Um so I didn't mind yeah. that it was, I didn't actually hear anybody say this is really out of character about her behavior. Um, so, and, and I would fight you to the death on that because people do stuff like that. Yeah. Um, when they have something major like that happens in their life, they go through a, a phase. Whatever. What, I mean, it manifests itself so differently in everybody. Like you can't say this is not in character for her right. in a way that says this is not a valid choice for the writer to take. Yeah. But I did hear, which is weird, like, it's such a small thing. Like, it's out of character for her to, oh, what was it? I think it was, like, s steal from Ewan and, like, not know that bad things were going to happen or something like that because she's a planner, which struck me as a very strange argument. Like, it seems yeah. like it's kind of a roundabout logic. It, it's, it was odd to me, and I called somebody out on it, and they were, like, not having it. So I was like, all right. <laughs> Um, but, and I just, I really don't think it's out of character for someone who plans things yeah. to do something wrong. <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me. Everyone makes mistakes and sometimes people make mistakes on purpose. So yeah. like, I, there was a lot to kind of like, wait, is she doing this on purpose or is she doing this because she doesn't know how to feel or behave or is she doing, like, there was a lot that we didn't answer and I love that. I love not answering things. Yeah. Make feel powerful and you had a totally different wardrobe I know. <laughs> yeah yeah uh like kara said it was all legs and boobs it so was. <laughs> um i think all of that was is mine was yeah. mine it's <laughs> mine now but uh yeah no there was some great uh what was my favorite one hmm. i can't remember them anymore there was the darkest timeline alice the, like, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. It was, like, a lot of red and black. Yeah. Oh, you I like the, the black strappy thing that I used to seduce Paul Todd. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah, that was that was a good scene. I liked him. Yeah. <laughs> we actually had, when we were editing that, every take was, like, really sexual. <laughs> like, really, really <laughs> sexy. And Paul and I, neither one of us, are very sexy. We're very goofy. We're very funny. <laughs> He's very attractive, but we're right. not sexy people. We're not like whatever. Yeah. I don't know what sexy looks like. So right. when we were watching the footage back, I was like, whoa, this is uncomfortably hot. <laughs> like, this is too much. We need to scale back. And when we were on set, we did not think that it was that we were like, ho -de -do -de -do, like all elbows and idiots. <laughs> and it was somehow when it when it went to camera, it was like, oh my god, yeah, there are children watching this show. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you did, you did a good job, I mean, obviously. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I said obviously you did a good job if it came across that way to you too. So I don't know that it was supposed to. I don't know, but I like yeah. we sexed that scene a lot. <laughs> like, yeah. Ugh. Maybe, you know, and, and part of it could have been the way that it was shot, the angle it was shot in or whatever. The angle but was, was an interesting, an interesting angle. And it was actually, yeah. that was something I thought people would get, like, 
up in arms about. She's filmed someone secretly. Um, yeah. And we actually cut it out of the show because I thought this is going to be too much backlash. Originally, we have her setting the camera in a bookshelf and turning it on so that mm -hmm. she's filming him. And I was like, that's too much. <laughs> so we cut it and we punched in so that you couldn't see. So we cut her setting it up and punched in so that you couldn't see the the books quite so much. Um, they're still yeah. there. So you could still argue like in world she did do that. But it, yeah. it was not quite as like, wham. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, so that well, was think it, too far too. I think it all worked though for that particular arc with it being Dracula, mm -hmm. you know, and you being in a darker place and yeah. you being sort of seductive and everything. Dark stuff. Yeah. Like, that fight with Tony was great. Any any scene that he and I have like just emotion moments is yeah. all really fun and registers really well on camera. Um so like we play off of each other really well for those. And yeah. that was a really good time um making sure that stylistically we were hitting the same notes as like stuff in season one was really fun and uh, there was a lot of layers to that whole arc. So that was probably my favorite one. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely stands out. So. <laughs> it's so different. I love it. It's so different. But it, you know, I'm like you. It makes sense, though, that she would be going through this sort of totally different phase after her breakup. So yeah. and, and it worked. It was, I was very worried. I mean, I was, everybody was kind of worried. They were like, are people going to be all right with this? Um, so there yeah. was a lot of, it was high stakes, you know, we were kind of like, are people cool with this happening? And I don't think people were, but they wanted to see what happened, which is awesome. That's totally perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, yeah. just stick with it and see what happens. Even if you don't like the main character, that's such a cool challenge as an actor and a writer. So I was yeah. that people not only stuck around, but like they got vocal, <laughs> like they started talking. Yeah. Um, and especially after such a very ambiguous, like our beginning this season was they're in love, boring. They're mm. having sort of problems, but they're grown up problems. So who knows? I don't know. And then did they break up? Like th those were our three, like, yeah, up until that point. So it was sort of like confusion. And then you, you get relief with this. Dracula arc where you can go, oh, okay, cool. So here are all the feelings. I yeah. see. Again. Yeah, and I think the way that Alice came out of all of that was a very natural progression. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that it worked and I think it made sense for the books that you were doing. So, thanks. I liked it. <laughs> so, you have covered now what, 13 books? Yep. Um, so, is there one that you really wish that you had had a chance to? To tackle that you for whatever reason didn't um I, I try not to hold on to oh I guess Les Mis would have been really fun but I try not to like if I think about doing one and then decide not mm -hmm. to I don't I don't like to you know dwell on it too much because mm -hmm. I made that decision that was my choice um it didn't fit or whatever um Les Mis would have been kind of yeah. cool but god <laughs> um or Phantom of the Opera would be neat but there's like where would that go? Yeah. But, yeah. No, I, I like that you were, you just cut out just a little oh, bit. No, I can't hear you. Are you still there? Can you hear me okay? Uh, no, mm, kind of. Okay. Yeah, you, you just started okay. kind of breaking up a little bit there at the end. Okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, but I mean, I, I like the, the choices that you made with the books. So, and I, I think that they all served a purpose and they all fit really well yeah. together. It's kind of like a puzzle, you know? Yes. So it, <laughs> yes, it is. If you want it to make sense for the character, so. Oh, no. Can you ask that one again? Because you wanted to make, you wanted the books to make sense for the character. So, obviously, yeah, you know, you had, they had to, to make scrutinize which books that you wanted to use very carefully, I'm sure. I heard the first part of this. <laughs> Um, the books have to make sense for the plot line, yeah. Right, yeah. 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 Okay, so 
what are you gonna miss oh, most? Oh, hang on. Can I cut out <laughs> again? Okay. Ah. Let's try. Did I just cut out again? Yes. You you're like in and out, so I can't. <laughs> okay. Let's let's try it again here. Um what are you going to miss most about uh classic Alice? Whew. Um I I I hate it, but I love it. I I'm so busy with it. Like I'm gonna miss that. I'm that feeling of just like oh it's over. Um I think a lot of I, I've noticed a lot of people what is this one piece of hair doing? Um <laughs> I've noticed a lot of the actors in these series, and I'm sure this is true for like TV too. You're in something that takes, you know, a year, two years of your life and you, um, you come off of it and it's sort of like, well now what? And there's this like weird kind of empty voidy feeling. Like my actors have gone through that kind of because like their parts done. Um, yeah. And you know, pretty much everybody except maybe me and the editors have done that. Like everybody else has kind of put it to bed. So I'm going to be yeah. the last one that's like, Oh, this is over. Um, yeah. Dana and I wrote the last tweets for Kara and Lily like last week. And I was just like, Oh no. Cause that's really, I think where they're going to die for me is, is when their tweets end. Yeah. Uh, Cause then there's like, no, that's my last thing that I do in the voice of those characters. Yeah. So when those go away, they're like gone. I'm, I'm murdering them is kind of what it feels like. Yeah, just, it feels like they're dying. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm murdering your friends. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to miss, I, I'm, I'm going to miss every stupid little part of it. Yeah. Um, because it is all fun. I wouldn't do it if it's not fun. Uh, but it'll also be nice to put this energy to something else um, in a bittersweety kind of way. So what's next for you? I mean, I know you're still doing social medium, so. Yeah, well, but that's not like, I'm not writing it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, you're... I'm just waiting for Tara to tell me what to do, <laughs> really. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably, what's next for me is either, uh, a couple, I, I have a bunch of little shorts. I shot one with Chris that I released on Funny or Die. I, need I to saw that one. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I, I love those two characters and they've got a couple more scenes in them at least. Uh, so I want to see how much I can milk with those two. Uh, and I edited that myself and it was no big deal. So those we can bang out for like nothing. Um, right. So I would like to build out my Patreon page a little bit better slash more because it would be great to be able to like siphon money for a production, even if it's just like, you know, little one-off things. Yeah. Um, but what I really want to do is write a feature and maybe shoot that. Uh, I would, I, I'm, I feel like I'm opening another Pandora's box. Like, Oh, I've done web series now. Let's right. <laughs> teacher. That'll rake in money. It will. Uh, <laughs> but I, I would really like to, you know, use whatever momentum I have and see if that can gain anything or do anything or whatever. Um, I know it's another like who you know world. I, I know. I'm aware of like all of the pain in the acidness is about an indie feature, but that's kind of what I want to do. Um, and yeah. then I don't know, hopefully TV and commercials. And I, I booked a commercial a couple of weeks ago. So like, hopefully that keeps happening and yeah, you know, maybe Very I can cool. be an actor again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have no doubt that we're going to be seeing you around for, for quite some time. Um, so is there anything that you would like to say to the, the fans of classic Alice before we go? Um, thanks. <laughs> It's been a long time, and I think you guys have all, like, stuck around and watched it and watched these characters grow and watched me grow as a writer and our actors grow as actors, and um, you've seen changes behind the scenes and in front of the scenes, and uh, you've followed us and become fans of not just the show, but us as human beings, which is ridiculous because all I do is post 
pictures of cats on my Instagram. But <laughs> um, and it's been like really fun to get to know you guys. And so you're enriching like our little world. Um, so thank you. Also buy the app. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just thank you. Uh, thank yeah. you very much for kind of helping our actors and directors and every everyone involved in this production um, get somewhere higher. Like everybody has benefited. So that's great. And did, did I ask you when the app comes out or do you know yet? Um, right now we're waiting on iTunes. So it's in their like approval queue. So sometime soon. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, I'll post that on my website when it's available and yeah. we'll, you know, yeah. link and all that stuff up. So yeah. Okay. Well, Kate Hackett, thank you so much for coming back and talking about classic Alice again. Thank you so much for and yeah, and feel free to come back with whatever else you have to promote. Don't think just because Classic Alice is over, I don't want to have you back on the show. Okay. So <laughs> you're always so much fun to have. So thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have a, a good rest of the night and uh, say hi to all of your cats for well, me. They're all, I don't know where they, they all disappear. are. They disappeared. They disappeared. They didn't want to be with me. Right? alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see you later. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye.